What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite channel. is back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And today, we will be taking a closer look at XRP, our favorite asset on this channel. And if you're new to this channel, you like what you've seen here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications for future content. That being said, you guys, I want to jump into this video. I don't want to keep y'all waiting too long. As y'all already know, what's happened with the uh, Julia Chatterley interview with Brad Garlinghouse it looks like uh there was a little bit of good news in there what Brad said he was you know dodging questions and all but <laughs> that's how he's he's a good talker huh? he's slick <laughs> and if you watch it again you'll see what I'm talking about um before I get into anything I want to go into some scripture I always want to give you that scripture because I always want to represent the kingdom of for God as best I can on this channel and I always want to lead you guys to Christ so before I get into any technical analysis and go any further I'm going to give you guys this scripture and I'm going to read you guys what I wrote on Twitter as well so I said this Proverbs 19 and 4 wealth maketh many friends but the poor is separated from his neighbor if you think about it this proverb is speaking truth when you are when people are really wealthy or they have something that people want people will flock to them but when you don't have nothing imagine how bad it is no one wants to be around people when they're poor living on the streets but you see that people take care of them and it's good to take care of people that have nothing because it shows that you have uh the spirit of god and you have love within you so that's the thing that people need to understand we need more love in this world besides it's always seeking riches uh, so I said this if XRP were to moon tomorrow how many new friends would you have go ahead and answer that for me how many new friends would you have because be realistic a lot of people that watch this channel or, or even invested in XRP have probably told all their family members all their friends about XRP to some degree and you know when, the, when you make it big that they're going to come knocking at your door be like hey man how you doing that's fake but here's what this here's here's what I'm going to continue with. How many people would support you? Wealth talks. Why do you think people seek people like Gary V or Elon Musk? These men have wealth and ideas, but if God took it all away, <laughs> took away took it all away from them, would you be listening to them? Nobody listens to the poor when they have much, when they don't have much and they have much wisdom so that's what i was saying you guys on the twitter uh, i just wanted to say that and share that with you guys because i believe xrp is about this this is the year for xrp to move and a lot of us are going to be facing these types of people that you told them but you know it's going to be up to you if you want to bless them with you you know what you you've been blessed with financially so that's why I bring it up, and that's why I want to say to your attention, because I believe this is the year. I believe, uh, you know, at the end of the day, God's going to do what he's going to do. Um, so that being said, let's jump into this technical analysis. We are still parabolic. We have been holding this area strong. We rejected this area multiple times. So this is a good sign of us continuing higher. Uh, I'd still see us moving higher to the 50 cent level up here so i still see that in the works as long as we hold this this blue zone here and don't break this fractal in here we are good we are golden you guys right here i don't see that happening but if we do get that break expect lower prices at least between 26 24 cents and possibly even 22 at this last level of support actually last level of support will be at 21 cents but i do not see that if it does happen wow that'll be something to behold but if it doesn't i still see the move to the upside as you see we're already getting rejections at this level uh looking at it on the four hour time frame as you see it like we like i said before we are already showing signs of rejection key just in is flat so price may want to pull back up as you already see it's trying to make its way up to the upside uh Price usually wants to be at equilibrium, so market is not in equilibrium currently right now. So I'm expecting some type of pullback to the upside. Not sure what's happened to my screen, but wow, this is really happening. <laughs> but anyway, 
So looking at it still, I still see some movement to the upside until we get to around this level here. And then once we get to this level, this, that's when I'll start to decide if market wants to either pull all the way up or continue back down. But right now I'm seeing that move to the upside. Uh, looking at it on the hour time frame, as you see here, we have like a, a little wedge going on here. Let's go to a smaller time frame to get a better perspective of it. Uh, let's see, let's zoom out. I have these zones marked in on the five five minute time frame. As you see, it's respecting these zones in the five minute time frame. And you see that it's slowly starting to make its way to the upside. We could still possibly drop here, come down here to finish this pattern, you know, finish here or here and possibly even lower at this bottom area. Let me take off Ichimoku real quick so y'all can see this a lot cleaner. Bam, right there. So I still see us, you know, this is a wedge, ascending wedge uh, that's uh, forming, so, or falling wedge, my for better words. Uh, when you see this, price usually wants to break up to the upside before these patterns and move even higher as you can see on the weekly that we had in a, a, a video in the past. Uh, looking at it, I'm very confident about XRP moving higher, saying if we break these levels, I wanna see this fractal level broken here. Let me show you guys this fractal level broken. I wanna see these fractals broken because when you start breaking bull fractals, that's a good sign to, for the market to move higher. So let's see, as you see here, it looks like price is already trying to break out right now. Um, let's see, we already broke one bull fractal. Let's see if it closes uh, as a bull uh, as a bullish candle in the next 30, uh, 27 minutes. But what I really want to secure first is this break here. I keep doing the same thing. Oh my goodness. Let me move this down. All right, bam, bet. So I want to see this, these fractals here. This one broken. I want to see this one broken. Because if we could break those fractals and move higher, I believe easily that we'll reach these levels and get back to thirty cent levels. And I believe by next week we'll start to push towards forty to fifty cent, uh, and possibly even higher, depending on how the market decides to move. See, let me go ahead and throw Ichimoku back on for you guys. We do have some thick cloud here. I, that's why I said we need to get past this level before we start breaking up even higher because we could still bounce off this cloud and start moving lower, which I would hate to see, but it is possible. So keep that in mind and keep that in uh, pers your perspective when, if you are tr margin trading XRP at all. Uh, I margin trade XRP with a broker. Uh, if you guys are interested in margin trading, I'm not going to say it's easy, but you make way more money in margin trading than hodling, in my opinion. And it's not actually an opinion, it's actually a fact. <laughs> but you make way more money trading XRP just when it moves small percentages. And what I mean, like, if it just moves like a couple cents, looks from here, like from. 27 let's say to 12 29 cent uh look how much of a gain that is you don't even get that type of gain if you're trading uh if you're holding it and you could use that leverage to make even more profits so that's what i do see in this market this is the year where i think millionaires will be made 2020 is our year let's go and i do want to say this if you guys are interested in being students to the game learning how to trade Ichimoku or learning how to trade Forex at all or any other commodity or stock or crypto, whatever it may be. I, I definitely would like to teach you guys because it is a interesting thing to learn and something that I think will be some, uh, good for you to teach your family and for generations to come, especially when it comes to uh, generational wealth as far as, as, far as finances. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis. I uh, have price moving up higher. Uh, if we do break this level, expect these prices to come down lower. All right. But for now, I'm bullish. I'm expecting us to reach 
back up to this level back up to here because we need that recoil and that push to the upside so 37 will be our next target and then 40 so this is what i'll have marked down for you guys for the next video here and then i will go ahead and put this circle here this whole area is the target that i'm looking at so right there i know i said i was gonna get off but man i i love looking at these charts <laughs> uh let's see let's make it full oh that's a little too there we go right there nah yellow's ugly how about another color let's go with that red all right so this is the target for next time hope you guys enjoyed the video comment and subscribe and let me know your thoughts all right god bless and peace Oh, mm -hmm.